Welcome back. We need to head to the Imperial Museum because I need to speak to Dorothy about getting a book. And there's also a chest down there that we didn't pick up because, you know, we went off to another world for a little while. Also something to do with the bell. Oh, Reen, you're here. Hi, Dorothy. This must have been a crazy few days for you. Is everything okay after we left yesterday? <laughs> yes, thankfully. For a while there, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I'm glad everything's okay now. Thanks to you, Emma, and everyone else. I appreciate what all of you did. It must have been terrifying down there. Not as much as it would have been alone. Well, thanks to all the help we got that we pulled it off. Anyway, surprised to see you guys open again so soon. Oh yes, the RMP were very efficient in cleaning the place up. Thanks to those two who came to advise us, Bell has been moved to a safe place. Those two? <laughs> I think you're well acquainted with them, Reen. There's a Lumen. Suggested we deal with the bell as soon as possible. I think that was the right choice. Two who helped are actually still in the museum. You should go say hello while you're here. Uh, sure thing. Does she mean... Is Professor Lumen here today? No, he was on duty yesterday. It's one of the other professor's turns today. Might be at the academy, though. Should I call for him? No, that won't be necessary. Oh, my. I'm going to say hello to these mystery guests in the back. Emma and I are going to have a little get-together today. I'm actually about to take my break and go meet with her. Oh, yeah? Now that I think of it, you were both in the literature club, huh? Well, don't worry about us. Hope you two have fun catching up. <laughs> oh, we will. Oh, dear. Now, if you'll excuse me. There she's heading off, which I wanted her to do. Two people who gave advice on moving the bell. Must be well versed in the orbital phenomena. I should head to the exhibit room. Where did you come from, real get? Yes. Oh, look at these lovely ships here. Gwyn? Fisher Schmidt? So it was you two. Oh, hello there, Rain. Fancy meeting you here. Blech. What is it? I was just wondering what happened after we left yesterday. Guess it was you two who made sure the bell was safe to move. That's right. I got a call yesterday afternoon and came to help. I had the RF company get me a workbench and some industrial grade filler to keep the thing from ringing. I would explain why I didn't see you anywhere last night. Where's the bell now? It's being stored underground. Filler should prevent it from activating for the time being. I checked in on it earlier. There's nothing to be concerned about. Unfortunately, it means this museum lost one of its key attractions. We talked with the director and he had us bring these models that were scheduled for the next exhibit. <laughs> well, it doesn't really fit with a the theme, but they do look pretty interesting. So I heard you two actually go way back. Didn't realize the two of you were such good friends. Don't be daft, like hell we are. Just because I've known him since we were kids doesn't mean I've ever been friends with this sourpuss. When we got back from Le Mans 50 years ago, the first thing he did was make himself a huge pain in my keister. Blah. Is that what you call revolutionizing the Rhinefort Company? I took you from your pathetic gunpowder weapons into the Orville Age. You should be bowing at my feet. Instead, I've got nothing but complaints. You know how many times we almost went bankrupt because of your reckless spending on your projects. Till the orbital train started to go into use, our company was right on the chopping block for crying out loud. <laughs> well, then, uh... Oh, look at the time! I should be going... Oh, yeah. I suppose both of you have at least his father in common, at least. Hmm. Ah, Franz. Despite his teacher being a pickled old goat, he was a good kid. Always bending over backward to accommodate my daughter. After Elisa was born, he was a model father, to mention his top-notch skills as an engineer. If it wasn't for the accident, he'd probably be leading RF by now. No one knows what caused the accident, right? There was an explosion at an orbital energy plant on the outskirts of Ruhr. A joint study between RF and the Institute of Technology was being held there, and Franz was in charge of it. All we could determine is that some kind of malfunction in the generator Enough about him. I admit you were a skilled manager in your day. 
but now you're just a doddering old man who let his daughter walk all over him. Nothing could be more unpleasant to me than the accusation of being a friend to such a senile buffoon. What was that, you monocle-wearing crabapple? It's that attitude of yours that made Makarov and George run for the hills. Well, despite what they say, they've got a pretty good rapport going on. Anyway, I'm relieved we don't have to worry about that bell anymore. It's a good call on Professor Lumen's part to recommend you two to the RMP. What? Who was that you said recommended us? Huh? Did Professor Lumen? He teaches geology at the Academy. He was here at the museum yesterday. I was told he recommended calling the two of you. A professor at the Academy? Ah. So that's only a coincidence. The Empire is vast. There are many people with the same surname. Yes, that's true. Huh? What are you two talking about? Oh, don't worry about it. We were just caught up in the past for a moment. No, I expect you will be joining us for the party at the place tonight, yet. We can talk more. Go and enjoy the summer festival for now. That's the plan. I'll see you there. It's been a while since I visited His Majesty, but I noticed that always call on the two of us at the same time. I appreciate if they stop treating us as though we were a pair. You stole the words right out of my mouth. Oh dear, dear. wait, what's that? What's that? Green? Green? Don't think of it, I haven't been here in quite a while. He always had such fascinating stories to tell back when he was alive. He? Previous museum director here. He was the grandfather of the Herschel girl. Oh! So you two knew each other? He was quite the accomplished astronomer. In terms of knowledge and education, he was the absolute best in the Empire. A shame he rotted away his talents at the Academy. They never deserved him. Don't be disrespectful. Anyway, we looked up to him and the both of us. His son and daughter-in-law were respectable scholars in their own right, too. Why are you green? Stars in the ancient Zumerian civilization. Not a bad theme at all. Why is he green? At any rate, you don't need to stand here yammering on to an old man. The summer festival. Get out there and drink it down to the last drop, you hear me? You know, if you fancy taking little Lisa home with you, you've got old Gramps' approval. Good grief. If Lisa heard you, she'd probably try smacking you upside the head. Why is he green? Why is he green? Why is he got a green exclamation? I don't remember him having a quest or anything. That's weird. Right? Something more going on there. Anyway, we're after a chest down here. I need to investigate that. Magius. Is that the name of a character from um, Chrono Trigger? Something like that, anyway. That's a game that's very much like... I, fa I found it disappointing, especially the PlayStation version. It's very glitchy, very buggy and all that type of stuff. It's such horrible lag in it. But yeah, it's like that, was, that was a game that was hyped up too much and it just... I need to investigate this. Because it's weird. The yeah, same again. What's this green exclamation? Ah, found out. It's because I had a black Sumerian ore at one point. We will get another one soon enough, and we will be able to do that quest in the next chapter. So let's get this book here anyway. It feels wrong. Thank you for the book. Oh dear. Right, Imperial Villa then. Because there should be a book in here as well in black records. And a scene. I see a familiar face over there. Oh no. That said, I sense a strange presence inside here. Didn't feel it yesterday. Copy the black records, right? What else could it be? Is it this side or is it the other side? It's the other side. Can't be the other side. Strange presence, though. And it is strange that the black record appears here as well. Number seven. I should also, thinking about it, let's turn top off there. Because I do still have this stuff. I think there's somewhere in the capital, I need to find them. No. I think there's somewhere in the cap. Uh, I think there's somewhere in the capital, I need to find them. I think there's somewhere in the cap. Like, can you not just give them to it, like, right now? It would help me immensely, Reen. 
It really would. I think, as well, if we go down and outside, we can get a Kabua scene. If I remember correctly. There she is. Who are you? Tourist. 91 we know. Hello there, you are tourist. American. Oh, Reen. Hello there, General Kenobi. Uh, Lisa, Ferris, and Josette? You two know each other? Yeah, I ever ship things for the development division sometimes. She's really great. Always ready to go wherever we need her. I have her deliver our fresh produce to Riviera Court as well. I wasn't aware that Lalisa was a fellow customer, though. Well, I appreciate all the business. We're not a huge company, so being able to make quick deliveries is our big selling point. We've been getting more and more regular customers lately, so I'd say business is going well. Keeping everything running smoothly is a lot of work. That's better than leaving it to my brothers. Oh, so not only do you make the deliveries, you manage the company too? So young, yet you own your own business. That's wonderful. No, no. Being in charge of a shipping company is nothing compared to what you two do. So all three of them are managers, huh? What a coincidence. Pretty amazing when you think about it. And that it is, that it is. Um, right, so now... Let's see what we want here, because we have got a few things left to do around the place. So I want to go to Dracos Plaza, because Thomas should be about. I was collecting books, wasn't I? That's what I was doing. Alright, fine. There he is, Thomas. So much to do in this bit. Irene! The ceremony was amazing. Oh, sorry. Irene, the ceremony was amazing. Seems like you did a good job yesterday. As your former instructor, I take great pride in your accomplishments. Whoa, now this is an interesting combination. Saw you among the other reporters at the ceremony, Monk. What are you doing here? I swung by here for an interview. That's when I ran into Instructor Thomas. The last time we met was at graduation. What has that been? Five months? Heard you quit being an instructor. Well, with all the recent changes, the main campus wasn't really a good fit for me anymore. But it's nice to see the men you've both grown up to be. Regardless of what happens, I'm confident you two can pull through. I don't know about Reen, but I still feel like I'm fresh out of school. Bloody hell are you doing here? You know what happened yesterday, right? Is there a reason you didn't act? My, you overestimate me. Besides, you guys were already on it. I had a matter to attend to that I couldn't ignore. A matter... It's an insurance policy. Don't worry about it. But I may need to talk to you about the black records. Understood, I'll keep that in mind. Please contact me, Rosine, if you must. <laughs> Thank you. In any case, try and enjoy the festival. You may as well, since you're already here. Yes, speaking of black records, I should do the Rosine thing. Hello there. Very well. Right, there we go. Cool. Um, let's go back to getting, like, the stuff done. Travis Plaza, no, Vanker Street. Go to the bookstore. Cheers, this one, yes. Get that, because I'll need that at some point in the future. And... Silent District, apparently, so I can get another book. See how the frame rate does here compared to previous. Ooh, can I get food here? Ground sausage. Oh, I fancy some sausages. It would be ever so lovely. Do you have a copy of Woo Baby here at all? No? Well, we'll have this instead. Kobe in the M Museum. Part 3. The M Museum. It's like, it's like Sophie in the Mysterious Book or something. It's just it's very, very strange. Very, very strange. Are we done here? Yes. So, right, we want all the little tiny scenes around the place. So we're done. Thomas, just it. Himmel Cemetery, but we can't get out there yet. So that's something we can't do. Um, we do need to go to Plaza Bifrost. We've just been there. That's not it. That's it. Let's speak to the manager. Apparently. And yeah, we can get some lovely stuff from him. Apparently this is just collecting, like, items now, which is like, I don't really feel the need 
to get all these items. These are like, like not optional events and stuff like that. So, race course, let's go inside here. And see about a star over there. But it's getting the right star. That's the thing. I went to the doctors this morning to check on my condition. And it was a miracle. My chronic condition that was getting worse is finally starting to get better. When I heard that, I was convinced it was all thanks to Lino Bloom. Now I think about it, my condition started getting worse when Lino Bloom started doing worse. <laughs> Glad I believed and waited it out. Lino Bloom. It's rumored to be retiring soon, but made a miraculous comeback. His condition got better as if they're connected. I'd share the story with Monk. There you go, that's what we're after. Probably report to Monk. Give me the good stuff there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying there. Right, so I think in terms of what I can do, because again, there's a fishing thing, but I do, ignore it. Just, just, just ignore it. I'd say we're essentially done with all the side stuff for now, so let's go to Vine Kerr Street. And see about... we should actually check. Because we do want to do all the, all the characters and try and get there. Where's the bonding list? There we are. Because I do want to try and get everyone else's up here. It's like they need that one extra star, don't they, some of these characters. But we do have, again... Wait, 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 wait. These things I still need to give out. So Emma uses Gaius Sarah. Let's actually try and find these guys. And Eusus is down there. So it's like, if I can just want them around here, it's been like, <laughs> where's the Eusus one? With the riding gloves, isn't it? I, yes. It's literally why. Yes, he's in the capital. It's like, that's why I was trying to give it to him now. Let's do uses then. Hey, you two, checking out the stores. So, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take these riding gloves. You won't take the riding gloves. So mean. Right, okay, let's actually do the events now. Find Curse Street entrance. We'll see about working down a list of sorts. It's mish, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, Tia. I mean, I've got to interrupt with Tia, haven't I? Mishy Stitch, yeah. I thought it was just an urban legend, but there's a new face hitting the stage, too. Randy, we're in trouble. Take it easy, Tio. Tio, she's losing it. Yes, indeed. Mishy, the super popular mascot of the Crossbell Province, has come here today to visit us. If you have a special ticket, you'll get the front row access to our show. It's fun for one and all, from kids to grandparents and everyone in between. So stop by and see the show. Mishy show, huh? Maybe I should invite someone to watch with me. I could think of a few people who might be interested. Alright, let's go... Who would be best for... De Yuna? I, what am I thinking? Not Yuna, because it's crossbow related. We called up who we had in mind, and they met up by the stage. They turned in the ticket, the nearby employee, and got ready to watch the show. Yahoo! Hey everyone, I'm Mishy! Meh! <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody! It's super great to see you all today! Yeah, it's Mishy! Look over here, Mishy! <laughs> Looks like you're super popular here in Heimdall, too! I'm so happy for you, Mishy! <laughs> I'm so happy for me, too! Okay, everybody, what should we play today? Hold on! Huh, who are you? You look kinda just like me! I am Mishy. Don't let him trick you, everyone. He is a fake. What? What? I'm a fake? Nobody told me that. No, Mishy. Don't let him confuse you. He's Mecha Mishy. He's a robot who thinks he's you. Nah, uh I'm not a robot. I'm the real one. I, uh, don't... I didn't know this character ever existed. Must be a new one. A new member of the Mishy family. You have to keep a close eye on this one. Me, <laughs> don't worry so much about that stuff. Let's just have fun and dance together. That's enough, you faker. Oof. 
Mehehe. <laughs> now I'm the real Mishi for sure. Oh no, everybody. The real Mishi was beaten by the fake one. But I bet if we cheer loud enough, it'll make Mishi feel better. Mishi, get up! Don't die, Mishi! Don't die! Hmm. I don't think Mishi can hear you. Maybe you're not loud enough. You there. We need your help. Cheer for Mishi with us. Oh, no getting out of this. Come on, Mishi! Uh, g give it all you've got, Mishi! Bet a tear to be like, oh my god! Get up, Mishi! Mishi! Me. She. Yay! You still want to fight? You want to go, mate? Fine, we'll keep fighting until only one of us is left. Nuh uh. Why does it even matter who the real one is? We're both Mishis. So I'll just be me and you just be you. Me. <laughs> now come on, let's dance and have fun together. Darn you. Fine, but just this once. If we are having a dance off, I'm not gonna lose. Alrighty. Isn't that great? Thanks to everyone's help, we're all friends now. Okay, now, Mishy, let's take this from the top. Yeah, time to do our big cheer. Let's dance and make a wishy. With Mishy! Where did Tio go? I don't get to see them getting along now. Whether he's in Crossbell or Heimdall, Mishy's still Mishy. There's Tio. I was gonna say, like, it, did she wander off? Just camera's slightly different. They then proceeded to join the rest of the crowd in dancing the Mishy dance to close out the show. Afterwards, Yuna was headed to the Corral Imperial Villa, so Reen walked it to the station. Along the way, they enjoyed some idle chatter. Okay, I'll see you later. Enjoy the summer festival, Yuna. Uh, um, Instructor? I is it okay if I, uh, take a picture? Picture? Why now all of a sudden? Um, I'm sure you already know, but my brother and sister are big fans of the Ashen Chevalier. Ah. I never really had a good chance to ask, but I thought maybe now might be a good time? I see. I'd love to do that for you. Since you're here, too, why not join me? What? I'm sure your siblings would be happier to see me, not just as the Ashen Chevalier, but as your instructor. Well... <laughs> Fine. I'll do it. I'll do it for Ken and Nana. The two asked a passerby to take a picture of them. Get a tripod. I'm sure Ken and Nana will love it. <laughs> it was no trouble at all. You know, when I look at you, well, I can, can believe there's a way to solve the issue between Crossbell and Erebonia. Yeah, me too. I found out there are people here with hearts just as strong as the ones I look up to back home. Ah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Instructor Reen. Thank you, too. Lovely. As Arena and Yuna's bond deepened, they both became stronger. Good. Yes. Select your destination. Um, let's go to Draco's Plaza, then. Let's see what we can get done here. Oh, hello. You can sign up here for the Heimdall Tram Tour. It's a special event that we hold during the Summer Festival. The westbound tram takes you on a scenic tour of the summer festival. The eastbound tram is currently full, so you'll probably find this one to be a bit more relaxing. If you have a special ticket, you can bring an extra guest with you. It's a great deal. A tram tour? Maybe I should invite someone. A member of the new Class 7? Someone else who might be interested. Cut. Reen used his Arcus to call the person he chose and met up with them. Using the special ticket, they went on the tram tour.
Thank you for joining us on the western route to the Hattendorf Tram Tour this fine day. Whether you're visiting for the summer festival or a seasonal local, we hope you can relax and enjoy the sights. I grew up here, so I don't feel it's all that necessary for me to learn about the city. That said, being taken on a tour like this is somewhat refreshing. <laughs> right, let's make the most of this. The tram is now ahead to the western district of Heimdall Central Station. You'll be travelling slower than usual, so you can enjoy the scenery along the way. Over there is Vester Street. There are always plenty. Oh, it, it's so lively! Better get a chance to see it. You think so? I find it so peaceful. Better get a chance to like, see it. Like, there it is, look! Quick! Oh, there it's gone. Next is the Lyca District, which is the next to the aqueduct. <laughs> You'd think it might be used seeing this, but it really is lovely. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Stop saying things so fast. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Probably be doing a lot of the bonding scenes here, by the way. When we get out of doing at least one of them. This is the Sark District. Oh, out of your window at Heimdall Cathedral. It's, it's lively today than usual. I wouldn't mind attending Master in the Summer Festival as well. Whew. <laughs> Draco's Plaza should be the last stop. Interesting. And I've discovered a new side of my hometown. I didn't go this time, but I find myself curious to take the tour of the eastern half too. Yeah, we should do this again. I'll bring the rest of Class 7 with us. Thank you for joining us on our tour of Western Heimdall today. We will soon be arriving at our final stop, Dracos Plaza. I repeat, our final stop will be Dracos Plaza. Afterward, they looked out over Valflame Palace and reminisced about the tour they had just taken. Alright, I'll see you later. Enjoy the summer festival, Kurt. Instructor, wait. There's something I need to declare right here and now. How did you... What would that be? Before this year ends, rather, before I begin my second year at the Academy, I swear upon the Vander name, I will defeat you in at least one out of three battles. <laughs> it's quite the declaration. Well, I'll have you know. I'm still training too. I'm not planning on letting you close the gap on me. Oh, I'm well aware. But even so, without such skill and resolve, I won't be able to survive the obstacles ahead of us. Exclamation. After my father, brother, and uncle were sent away, I started to worry. Perhaps this empire is headed in the wrong direction. Perhaps we're nearing the point of no return. If war were to break out, a single person's sword skills wouldn't matter all that much. Perhaps those are the times ahead of us. But even if that happens, I will overcome it. With everyone. All of the instructors. And with you. Kurt. Then one day, when we have both reached the height of mastery with our swords, I will accomplish my goal and surpass you at long last. Though if I'm being honest, it may take decades. <laughs> As your teacher and a fellow swordsman, it's an honor to hear that. Understood. I accept your challenge. We have so much work ahead of us. We'll get there, but I'm looking forward to that day. Yes. Please wait for me. As Reen and Kurt's bond deepened, they both became stronger. Which is what we're really after, isn't it? Right, so, there is actually still a few more things I want to get, so I was just basing it on time and stuff like that. When I should actually go get them. So let's actually go to Lyca District. And the cafe and head outside. 
Mm hmm. This is Reen Schwarzer of Thor's Brent. Hey, what's up? Got a sec to chat? Nope. Uh, wait a second. Hello, Major. Sorry, but uh, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Can you meet up right now? Right now, with you? Yeah, something I gotta talk to you about on the down low. If you're busy, no pressure, but if not, meet me at the station. Hey, hold up. String me a long way, don't you? Still, Nectar like almost never calls me outside of an order. He was in such a hurry, too. This is gonna nag at me till I know. I should head to the station. Sure I'll have enough time for the festivities. Proceed to required request. To advance the main story, use five tickets and complete the request from Lecter. Now quick travel to Heimdall Central Station. I will do, but I want to get the thing out here first. From Selene. Because it's like this is her bonding stuff, her hex and bell. It's like, let's just, 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 just. Um, we need to go... Hotel Vla. Speak to Sharon and we'll get something else as well. On the right side. I think it's in here. Yes. Feels weird doing this stuff. Here we go. Oh, it feels weird skipping that stuff, but, you know... You know, we gotta get a Cold Steel 4. We gotta get a Cold Steel 4. Um, where are we going? Um... Like a district, uh, she's in the cafe. I should have just got it there when I was there. There. Like, give me a thing. Give me a thing. Give me a thing. Give it. Thank you. Kaleidoscope. Lovely. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Right, so we're actually going to end this part here now. And what's going on here? Who are you again? I want your name. That's the bit. Micah. Oh, lovely. Right, so we'll see you in the next part. In the next part, we'll go see what's going on with Lecter. Ta-da for now.